All right, so we are working on line plot steel, and you're going to come to this line plot with uh, emojis. Click on it, like always. Okay, so you're going to have a few different um, ways to do this today. You're going to look, you're going to create a line plot with data, and you're going to create a data chart with a line plot. So you're going to do two different ways, okay? So you're going to click and drag the X's, and then you're going to double click the question marks to add the number, okay? All right, so let's get started. Um, I'll do one of each with you on here, and then you can do the rest by yourself. All right, so line plot, number of sunny days last month, okay? Ah, all right. So all you have to do is just start doing, you know, X's. So I'm going to have a 12 here for that 12, a 14. And try to make it as neat as you can. 20, you know, line it up as best you can. And then we already have an additional 12. And then 13. And I've got two 17s back to back. And then I've got 14, and then a 13, and then I've got 15, and then a 14, 16, and then 19. Okay, so all I'm doing is picking up that X with my uh, left mouse and then just click it. Um, and the way that they've got this set up, they've got it to where you can keep them pretty neat. Okay, so if you notice, I did not click any 18. Um, and what you could do to make sure you're correct is just at least count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then count your X's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I probably have all the numbers correct. Okay, so you can look at this quickly and see that your mode is 14. That is the number that appears the most. You can take 20 minus 12 and quickly get the range with a line plot. All right. <clears throat> and that is how many sunny days there were. So you can find out that... Um, number of sunny days last month. So you can see the difference of the sunny days. I'm not sure if that is named correctly. Maybe sunny days last year because there wouldn't be that many sunny days. So I'm not sure if that's correct, but just practice making the line plot. All right, so here we've, um, if you were in my Zoom meetings, we talked about siblings. So this would be another look at one of those. Number of points scored and number of costumes purchased and the numbers of games played, okay? Um, so this one's got, it goes by 10, so 0, 10, 20. So 10 would be right here. Um, if you have a 10, so just be looking at that. All right. And now we've got fill in the data chart. So you've got number of soccer games, one. So you have one, three. Okay. So all you have to do is put one here. Um, well, I guess I can back up. We don't have any zeros and we don't have any ones and we don't have any twos. So you can just put um, nothing for that. Just you can even take out the question mark. You don't want to put a zero because we. It, it just going back to mode. You don't want to put zeros in your set. You can just put um, none. Ah, but we'll just leave this blank. All right, we have one three. We have two fours. We have three fives, and then we have one, two, three, four sixes. 
and then you can take off the question mark on these. Okay. And that's all you're doing. It should not take you that long to complete this. But then on the last two, you're going to create your own line plot and you can make this up about anything, um, any idea. Uh, you can poll your family members and maybe we can find out um, how many times you know, how many times they walk to the kitchen. Okay. One time, two times, three times, four times. Um, I'll think about it and I might go on and put in some ideas here. And so that way you can create it on your own. Okay. And not have to think of a title. So I will put in some ideas on these two slides so that way you don't have to think about it. All right. I'll talk to you later. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye.